Okay, I'm back. So when she says that, I'm like freaked out now, right? So then she says, um, not only that, she's like, I don't know you from a hole in the wall and it's okay. She's like, let me just tell you that you and him have been together in every single one of your lifetimes. Every single one. And every single one, he is horrible. Oh my God, somebody's walking this way. Go walk away, Serpente. Um, she was like, you guys have been together in every single lifetime. And every single lifetime you've been together, he has made your life a living hell. And I was like, really? He's like, yeah. However, I don't know if, if he's your husband. I don't know if he's your boyfriend. I don't know if he's your brother. She's like, I don't know what he is to you. Which is kind of weird that she said that because she told me when he wakes up in peace and sees me kind of whatever. But anyways, she said, I don't know your relation to this dude, but just be happy to know that this is your last lifetime with him. This is the lifetime where you break free. And next lifetimes, he's never going to be part of any other lifetime. And he's not going to do so well with it. And it's okay as long as you know that you can create your shield of protection within your energy. Just know that he can't touch you. So, I don't know. After that, I kind of was afraid of him. And this was, again, like towards the end. Not, it was like between when I broke my foot and when he started calling me all the funky names and accused me of, you know, all the crap he did. So, we weren't like in a bad, bad place to where I was like, uh-huh, uh-huh, tell me more, tell me more. It was just like, it was interesting to me to, to listen to this. So she told me that, and I remember trying the whole bubble thing, and I think I did sleep better. I mean, I eventually I stopped doing it. Um, But after that, oh, sorry. I'm so, so, so sorry, it's contagious, sorry. But after that, I just... I didn't see him the same and I was doing this ladies like I think two three months after that I was doing the this lady's nails and he came to tell me what time I was gonna go home and I told him and she was like oh Lord please tell me that's not your husband and I'm like yeah that's my husband She's like, oh, girl, no, 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 he's, he's an energy vampire. And I was like, the fuck? I was like, what are you talking about? Kind of acting stupid that I didn't know. She told me the exact same thing, the chick from Vegas, what, what the chick in Vegas said. Now, the girl in Vegas, okay, as soon as she said, this is the last, last, life, blah, 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 this is the last lifetime that you guys are going to be together. Just know that and rest assured that next lifetimes he's not going to be part of it. He's not going to do very well in this lifetime when you do break free. She said, okay, honey, well, I just needed to let you know that your aura is amazing and you're going to, you know, you're always going to be okay. So, um, thank you for sharing your energy with me. And, um, she left. No money, no phone number, just like that. And I was like, it freaked me out. It freaked me out, but I don't know. It was just a little story that I wanted to share. Um, I hope I didn't offend anybody by it. Um, those people who know about auras and chakras and all that stuff. Um, I don't know if this lady was right. So if you're watching, let me know if she was correct about the bubble, about the blue energy, about the vampire, uh, the energy vampires. Um, because she sold me on it. And when I turned and saw his face and the look he gave us, I was like, oh my God, it's fucking Satan. Um, so anyways, that's my story for today. I love you guys. And I will talk to you later. <laughs>